Hi, True Crime Grapevine fans. It's me, Patty Lee. This is episode 44 of the True Crime Grapevine. If you're new here, hi. I'm just here to tell you what everybody's talking about on the interwebs for the crime this week. And um, hopefully I can do it in a more succinct way. I listen to hours of true crime each week. And yeah. So, case five. Oh, this is a horrible one, you guys. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I'm drinking Truly. This is the uh, lime and strawberry. Mm. Need a long draw for this one. Why? Can you see behind me this beautiful child? So we have Scotty Morris. Scotty Morris is from Eaton, Indiana. Eaton, Indiana is... Um, 45 minutes south, uh, northeast of Indianapolis. In fact, where I, my relatives live in Indianapolis, when we drive there from Michigan into Ohio into Indiana, into Indiana, we go right past where Eaton is. But Eaton is a little town. There are, I believe, 15, I think, I don't know if it's 1,500, sorry, if I said I'm the dyslexic uh, detective and my dyslexia tends to be worse with numbers so it's either I, I think it's 1500 people it's a very small area um, Scotty Morris lives there with his family apparently I guess we found out he has a twin sister he has a little brother and you will see how we know that for sure and um, he lives with his parents so what happened last Friday night. So it has been a week as of this taping. Exactly. Scotty had some sort of altercation at home with his parents, which resulted in him having to endure humiliation as part of his punishment for what he did. And then he's 14. So Whereas a child might be more um, apt to take that in some sense. Scotty was angry and left. And he was last seen around 8.30 and he was seen on security camera. But I believe it has been reported at security camera from the home. Now can the people change the time? I don't know. I'm not, um, I am not proficient in mechanical things. I'm a people person, not a mechanical person. So I am unaware. It wasn't from a neighbor though, or some third party. I believe it was from the home security. He was seen leaving in a white shirt, the punishment shirt, I'm going to call it, and uh, black and red shorts with uh, tennis shoes and uh, socks on. The problem is last Saturday, it did uh, between Friday when he left and Saturday, it snowed. It's been cold in our region. Um, so, and it's still cold, which is problematic because now he has been gone a week. So immediately, um, or I don't know how immediately, but purportedly immediately, the parents, they look around, they, you know, he's angry. They've had a fight. He doesn't come home. So by that evening later, they call the police. The police start looking. There are search groups. They know it's getting cold. Yes, he's 14, but where is he? They search outbuildings. They search abandoned houses. They search parks. Um, but later this week, they started um, doing searches of waterways as we've heard in other cases, like Nicola Bully, and unfortunately, um, when other kids have gone missing. I don't think he has any developmental issues, although I'm not sure, but they are, um, I just wonder, I don't know if you can see a smile, looks a little awkward, but what 14-year-old boy likes to have his picture taken for school. So I don't, I don't think he's on the spectrum. Um, he was in his school's band, and that's where this photo was from. This sad-looking photo, that was the first photo his parents gave police. 
let's just talk about that for a second. Now, my PhD studies included not only human development, but human, uh, especially interactions, because I was educational psychology and it has to do with adult to um, children, interactions with like behavior management for teachers and parents. I took a parenting class, leadership in the home and in the schools. It's all kind of similar and the research helps inform like teaching, which is why it's part of educational psychology. And I can tell you, um, I don't, you can't really see his shirt, but I'll tell you, it, it, it says how he is a liar. So he had to, um, instead of like writing on the board or writing on the paper, like I am sorry a hundred times, which we actually know is not good and it doesn't really change behavior. In fact, it only makes the child resent, either feel resentment or feel very shamed, ashamed. It doesn't, but it doesn't really stop them um, long term from changing their behavior as opposed to causing resentment either externally towards others or internally towards themselves. Um, he wore, he had to wear the shirt that said he was a liar, that he hurt his little brother, and it, there's more writing on that. Um, it has been removed from most websites, but this picture was put out immediately by the police because it was freezing outside, it was beginning to snow, and it was the picture the parents gave the police that showed up. Later it was cropped, but I mean, that's the shirt he left the house in. So I'm sure anybody, if they saw him at a store, they would remember because the kid's wearing a shirt saying he's a liar and that he hurt his little brother and that basically he's a bad person. So issues, right? Issues. Um, what can we say about this? It's been a week. He has not been seen. There are two, well, there's three possibilities in this case. If you watch a lot of true crime, you're going to probably think like I am. The first one is, did something happen? Um, Scotty's mom did come out publicly and make a plea. And she said, you know, she said, please come home. I know you might be afraid. It sounded weird. Like, it sounded like he would be... Um, like, how would he know the police were, there was a big presence and people, like, oh, I'm shut, you're going to be afraid, don't be afraid of the police, they're not there to hurt you. I mean, he's not, like, three, where you might be scared of police because you've seen, th I don't know. It just sounded weird. That also made me wonder if they're not fully described, like, does he, is he on the spectrum somehow? Because the way she's talking about, why would a 14-year-old boy, I mean, they'd be like, okay, like, they'd either want to, like, do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It just sounded like she was talking to a much younger child, just from my perspective as a parent, as an educator. And, um, no, I don't study behavior. I'm waiting for the behavior panel to come out with an episode about this. I think they might. She made a lot of facial, like, I'm really upset. Uh -huh. And it sounded like, uh -huh, like those sounds of crying. Um, but... It wasn't crying. Does that make sense? It didn't sound like crying to me. I, mean, I didn't see tears. I just got a hinky feeling. I could be wrong. That is just my impression. That is my opinion. And it, it is not proof. It is not a fact. And I am not out alleging that she had anything to do with it. I, she obviously feels bad, right? I mean, her kid is gone. But we all know the statistics about what could have happened. Um, we don't know. Second, he could have walked away. Walked, like I said, his town isn't too far away from some uh, major highways that go into Indianapolis. Did he run into somebody, like was he cold and ran into the wrong person, you know, a monster. And unfortunately, we, we hear about that often with um, mostly young women, but sometimes young men, kids, they are offered a ride, they get in, and that's the last we see of them. So, I, 
Um, and I guess third could be that he has had an accident. Like he curled up to go to sleep somewhere and died of hypothermia or did somehow get into a waterway. Uh, we will find out. Um, so Scotty is five foot four. He is 150 pounds. So he's not, he, he does have some meat on his bones. Um, he has brown hair that was just cut into a buzz cut and they, the police made um, a explicit effort to say that wasn't like part of a punishment. But if you're from Indiana, Ohio, um, probably anywhere in a rural area, you know that people get buzz cuts, especially like he was just starting spring break. A lot of times in the spring, um, in the start of spring and then right in the middle of summer before school starts, the buzz cuts are pretty normal. Um, he has blue eyes, 